hello guys in this tutorial we are going to make the simple nav bar okay whenever i click on this menu bar you can see we are getting the slider and inside this i'm having this about services clients and contact here i'm having this cross symbol again when i click on this it is going to close again when i open this one it is going to open okay now we are going to make the simple project using html css and javascript okay here i have already created one folder nav bar slider inside this i'm having index.html style.css and script.js now inside index.html first i'm just going to write this basic boilerplate of html i'll just change the title to navbar and below this i'm just going to link css file i'll just write here style.css and above the body i'm just going to link javascript file i'll just write here script and here i'm just going to write here script.js now inside style.css I don't have anything, inside script.js I don't have anything, we are going to write the code completely from the scratch and below this I'll just write one comment, I'll just write here font awesome, font awesome cdn and below this I'm just going to link that one. So I'll just come here, I'll just search for font awesome cdn, I'll just open this first link, I'll copy this and here I have pasted I'll remove till integrity now here I'm just going to create one div and for this div I'll just give the class name as sidebar and also I'm just going to give id id I'll just give here my sidebar okay you can use any classes and any id name inside this div container I need anchor tag so I'm just going to create anchor tags I need totally five anchor tags so I'll just create here five and here I'm just going to bring this down Now inside each href, I'm just going to give here hash. I'll just give this hash. And inside this first anchor tag, I'll just write here x, okay, for that cross symbol. You can also use the font awesome icon here. Now here I'm just going to write here home. And here I'll just write about, okay, you can give anything here. I'll just write here contact. And finally, I'm just going to write here services. I'll save this. I'll copy the path. And here I'm going to paste that one. Okay, now here I'm having this X home about contact and services. Now here I'll just search for font awesome icons. And inside this you will be having just open this first link. And from this link you will be having the icons whichever you need. And from this website you can find all the icons. Now here I'm just going to search for bars. Now here I'm just going to click on this first bars. I'll just copy this HTML code and here below this div container, I'm just going to create one div and for this div, I'll just give the ID. Okay, let me just give here ID. ID, I'll give it as main. Inside this div container, I'm just going to create one button and for this button, I'll just give the class name as OpenBTN. Inside this button, I'm just going to paste that icon code. Okay, and for this anchor tag, I'm just going to give one class. Class, I'll just give it as close BTN. And also I'm just going to give one ID for this because I can use in JavaScript ID also I'm just going to give here close BTN inside this diff container first I'm having this cross symbol home about contact and services you can either use unordered list and you can wrap this entire thing inside list items okay it completely depends on you how you want to write the code now I'm going to apply some stylings and later on we are going to write JavaScript code okay we are done with our HTML part I'll just come here I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I'm having this bar here. Okay, inside the button I'm having this icon. Now inside style.css, first I'm just going to write this base, write this one. I'll just write here padding to be zero. Okay, because by default we are having some padding and margin. I don't need that one. Margin to be zero and also box sizing to be border box. Okay, box sizing border box because whatever padding and margin I give, that should be covered in the complete width itself. It should not take extra space for padding and margin. Okay, now you can see the default padding and margin has gone. I'll just come to index.html. I'll copy this sidebar class and here I'm going to paste that one. I'll just give here background color. Background color I'll be giving here orange. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see this is my sidebar which is having this background color. Now for this I'm just going to give position. Position I'll give it as fixed. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one now the position is fixed and now here I'm having this sidebar now for this I'm just going to give the height height I'll just give here complete 100 view height I'll refresh this one now it is taking complete 100 view height okay whatever screen it is visible for me it is taking complete view height okay and my icon that my bar is not visible because it is behind this 
now for this i'm just going to give some properties i'll just give it z index z index to be 1 because i always want this container should be on top so i'm just giving here z index to be top i'll refresh this now if i just give here negative value minus 1 i'll come here now you can see here my icon is visible here because i have given negative value and this sidebar has gone behind and my icon has come front so for that i'm just going to give positive values so that my sidebar container will be on top now next i'm just going to give here top 0 and also i'm going to give left 0 okay based on your requirement you can give top 0 or left 0 i'll come here i'll refresh this now it is on top and it is on left now if i just give here right i'll save this now it will come on right side now you can see this has come on right side so i need on left side so i'm just giving here left 0 okay this top left bottom and right properties we get once we use this position properties we are going to get four more properties that is nothing but top left bottom and right now for this i'm just going to give some padding i'll just give padding top padding top of 3m okay padding is giving space from inside i'll just refresh this now you can see from top i got tm of padding and also i'm just going to give some transition for this because whenever i apply some stylings i want in smooth way I'll just give transition, transition of 0.5 seconds. Now below this, I'm just going to style anchor tags here. All the anchor tags I want to style. I'll just copy this sidebar class and here I'm going to paste that one. I just want to style all the anchor tags. So I'm just giving here A. Now for this, I'm first I'm just going to give here text decoration to be none. I don't want that underline. So I'm just giving here text decoration to be none. I'll refresh this. Now you can see the underline has gone. Okay, now we all know by default our anchor tag is inline element so for that i'm just changing its display property from inline to display block i'll just give here display display to be block just give the proper spelling i'll just write here display block i'll save this now as soon as i give this one you can see everything will come in vertical all the content will come in vertical now for this i'm just going to give padding padding of 0.5 rem top 0.5 rem left 2 rem bottom and 2 rem right okay i'm giving four properties i'll come here i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this output now i'm just going to increase the font size i'll just write here font size font size of 1.5 rem and also i'm going to change the color to black i'll save this now here i'm having this output now below this i'm just going to give here text transform text transform to be uppercase I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see my text is changed to uppercase. And also I'm going to give font family. I'll just give here font family. Font family I'm just going to give here sans serif. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the font family is being changed. And also I'm just going to give some transition. So I'll just copy this transition. And here I'm going to paste that transition. And for this, I'll just give here 0.3 seconds. Okay, you can give any seconds. It completely depends on you. I'll refresh this. Now you will not see any effect. But once we click on the button, we will be having smooth slider effect. Now I'll just copy this entire thing. And here I'm going to paste. And whenever I hover on this anchor tags, I just want to change the color to white. I'll save this. I'll just write here color. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now whenever I hover, you can see the color is getting changed and also the transition has been applied and smoothly it is getting changed. Now I'm just going to style this close BTN. I'll just copy this class. I'll just paste that one here. And for this, I'm just going to give here position. Position to be absolute. Now once I give this position properties, I'll be getting four more properties. Top, left, bottom and right. Now for this, I'm just going to give here top zero. I'll just give here top top to be 0 and right I am just going to give here 25 pixel. I'll save this. I'll refresh this. Now you can see my cross symbol has come here. And also I am just going to give the font size. Font size. Font size I will just give here 36 pixel. We have already given some font stylings. I will just give here important. I will just come here. I will refresh this. Now the font size has been increased. I will just decrease it to 20 pixel. I will save this. I'll refresh this. Okay, now here I'm having this cross symbol. I'll come to index.html. I'll copy this one, open btn. And here I'm going to paste that one. Now for this, first I'm just going to give background color. Background color, I'll just give it as orange. I'll save this. 
I'll refresh this one now that menu bar is not visible because here we have given a Z index to be one for our sidebar. So this will be on top and this is behind. So for that it's not visible. Now here I'm just going to give the width to be zero. I'll just save this one and I'll show you the output. Now you can see my width is zero but my content is visible here. Now to fix this one we just have to give here overflow overflow x to be hidden. I'll just give here overflow x hidden. I'll save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see the content is also hidden and the width is zero now. Now in my JavaScript I'm going to increase the width and that will come. Okay now if you see here I'm having this menu bar and the background color is orange. Now for this I'm just going to give the font size. Font size I'll just give here 20 pixel. I'll save this. Now you can see here the font size has been increased and for this I'm just going to give one more property. I'll just come down I'll just give here cursor cursor to be pointer because whenever I hover on that I want the pointer and also I'm just going to give some padding I'll just give padding padding top and bottom 10 pixel and left and right I'm just giving here 15 pixel I'll save this I'll refresh this one now here I'm having this menu bar for this I'm just going to remove the border I'll just remove this border border to be none and also I'm just going to give some border radius border radius border radius of around 10 pixel I'll save this I'll refresh this one now I got this border radius and the border has gone now whenever I hover on this I just want to change some colors I'll just copy this open btn class and here I'm going to paste that one and here I'll just write whenever I hover I just want to change the background color to black and also I want to change the color to white I'll save this I'll refresh this one now whenever I hover you can see I'm getting this but it's too quick so for that I'm just going to add here transition here I'll just add transition transition I'm just going to give here point uh, I just want to apply to all and here I'm just giving here 0.5 seconds I'll save this I'll refresh this now you can see I'm having this one okay if you want you can just remove this padding zero margin zero and box sizing to be border box or you can directly give here okay if you want you can just give here I'm just going to give some margin margin I'll just give here 1 M I'll save this I'll refresh this okay now here I'm having this menu bar now whenever I click on this I want my content okay I'll just come here now if I just show you the output I'll just come I'll just write here 250 pixel 250 pixel I'll refresh this now you can see I'm having this output okay whenever I click on this I want this output should be visible now for that I'll just give here 0 pixel now for that we are just going to write javascript code okay you can see we need three things i'll just refresh once whenever i click on this i'm i have to access this menu bar i have to access the cross symbol to close that one and also i have to access the entire sidebar container so totally three variables i have to access and inside index.html i'll just copy this id my sidebar and here i'm just going to write that one i'll just write this one document dot get element by id and inside this i'm just going to paste that id i'll copy this two times and next i just want to access this close btn i'll copy this i'm going to paste that one here and also i'm going to paste that one here again for this i have given the id as main i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste that one okay you can directly give for the button okay this id if you if you can give id or you can copy this id you can give anything okay based on your choice based on your condition you can access any id or any class from this open btn now i have accessed the three things now whenever i click on this button okay now this button is inside this diff container and this diff container is having this main id now inside this javascript i have already accessed this main id and i have stored that inside this variable now for this I'm just going to add one event listener main dot add event listener and whenever I click on this I'll just call this function I'll be writing this fat arrow function now inside this function whenever I click on this function I'll just copy this my sidebar I'll paste that one I'll just write here style dot width I'm just increasing the width to 250 pixel I'll save this I'll come here I'll refresh this one now when I click on this you can see its size is increased to 250 pixel and I am getting this slider effect because of transition. Now again now when I click on this close button it should get closed. So I have to access this close btn and here I am going to paste that one. I will just copy this and here I am going to paste that one. I will be adding add event listener and here whenever I click on this I just want it to execute. 
now I want this slider should get closed. I'll copy this one and here I'm going to paste and instead of 250, I want it to become zero pixel. I'll refresh this one. When I click on this, you can see I'm having this output. Again, when I click on this, it is getting closed. If I just show you the output, if I just remove this transitions from here, I'll just remove this transition from here. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now, when I click on this, you can see it's too quick. Okay, it's not looking good at all. So to avoid that one, we are using transition so that we get smooth slider effect. I'll refresh this again. When I click on this, you can see it's working. And whenever I hover on this and this is also working again, when I click on this cross symbol, it is getting closed. Okay, this is how we are going to create simple navbar effect. And if I inspect this one, it will be completely responsive. I'll just inspect this. Now you can see in smaller screen devices, I'm having this one. When I click on this, I'm having this output. Okay, you can just practice this one. You can use this in your project as well. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.